Zika and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a kind of reflection video on my pregnancy. So I am officially full term. Yeah, I'm just patiently waiting for baby. But I just thought I would make a video of me reflecting on this pregnancy because this was my first pregnancy. Okay, let's just get started. So my first trimester, the most nerve-wracking time of my life. So those first 12 weeks were just very nerve-wracking and I was scared. It was a very fearful time because, you know, the first 12 weeks are when, you know, a miscarriage can happen, which was one of my biggest fears about this pregnancy because I felt so connected to this baby and you know I just didn't want to lose it so you know I ate the healthiest that I could with the nausea that I had and I just took very good care of myself and thankfully this baby stuck. I know some women aren't as lucky as I was to you know make it through the first 12 weeks. It's just hard to think like okay I'm pregnant but you know, I don't know if this baby is gonna stick, so, you know, you have to be quiet for, well, most people are. I was, Malcolm and I were quiet for the first 12 weeks of my pregnancy before we told anyone, just, you know, just in case something happens that just me and him would be the only ones grieving because we didn't want our families to have to go through that. So, yeah, the first trimester was very, very nerve-wracking. It was so scary going to that first appointment with my doctor and her trying to find the heartbeat but she couldn't find it for about 10 minutes until she finally found it. So yeah, the first 12 weeks were very nerve-wracking. We wanted to wait until we heard a heartbeat. So yeah, the first trimester was very nerve-wracking for me. Moving on to the second trimester. The second trimester I would describe as the most amazing weeks of my pregnancy and I know everyone says this like it is thought of as the best trimester ever because your bump isn't too big, you're not, that nausea is gone and everything. So yeah I would say the most exciting things happened in the second trimester. So I felt baby Elijah move at 14 weeks. So that's kind of early for a first time mom, but I did feel like the little popcorn feelings and I could, you know, tell the difference between his little flutters and gas. <laughs> so at 20 weeks, we were able to find out the gender of our little boy. So yeah, we found out it was a boy and we settled on a name about a few weeks later so yeah we settled on Elijah because it is just a beautiful name to us and we love it and yeah so we got to see little Elijah again and it was just a really exciting time because at the first ultrasound he was just a little puny tiny jelly bean and by this time he, you could already make out his head, his arms, his little feet but you know his hands you know it was just an exciting time and I really loved sharing that experience with my husband the weeks of the second trimester were the best weeks of my pregnancy so moving on to the third trimester I would describe this trimester as painful and I was very anxious during this this trimester so some scary things did happen to me during the third trimester, not too many things, but I did suffer from some panic attacks in the last couple of weeks and you know it's just scary because it makes me feel like Elijah is also you know feeling what I'm feeling and I don't want him to ever feel a panic attack but yeah it was just super hard. You know, I've always struggled with panic attacks but these were a lot more nerve-wracking because you know 
I do have another person inside my body and it just really upset me because you know I don't want my child to have to go through a panic attack which I mean you know he might have to eventually but I don't know it just it just really sucks to have to suffer with panic attacks I'm an anxious person so it's just natural for me to worry about everything but just in these last few weeks just thinking of the birth I'm scared that I'll lose Elijah and that's the worst feeling in the world and not knowing I mean my doctors have reassured me plenty of times that Elijah is a very very healthy baby and they would be able to detect if anything was wrong from the ultrasound that I had or you know other you know signs but there have just been so many babies that were perfect in the womb but they had all these health troubles once they were born so that has just been on my mind you know just the thought of losing Elijah like that's like the scariest thing in the world and I try to be positive and you know I just really hate it when people tell me all these horror stories and I don't know why people tell you know pregnant women horror stories and I just think it's pointless because I don't know I'm, I've just been really stressed out these past couple of weeks so I know they're not healthy thoughts but just thoughts of losing the baby and also me dying in childbirth because I feel like my body I just have this feeling that I'm not strong enough to birth a child I know my body in my mind or in my heart I know that my body is strong enough this is what I'm built to do but you know I just always have that worry and it sucks so the third trimester has been the hardest but I just you know I have to keep going and you know Elijah is going to be here just in a couple days and you know I have to keep going for him you know that's what keeps me going just seeing him for the first time and seeing Malcolm interact with him for the first time you know I know I can do it and I know my body is strong enough it's just my brain my anxiety and whatever is going wrong in my brain I yeah it's just scary sometimes but yeah if you are feeling some of the feelings that I'm feeling then you kind of know what I'm talking about but yeah I just really wanted to post the video of me just reflecting on this pregnancy so far and yeah just for something to look back on I think it would be kind of cool to look back on this when Elijah is like 10 and you know I can watch it with him <laughs> um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too sappy <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!